All right, breaking news. Apparently, Egan Bernal is going to race the Tour de France. And a lot of people asked me in the last video, like, do you think Egan Bernal will race the Tour de France? And I was like, just, just no, because number one, cobbles, so he's not going to do well on that. Number two, he's not... I mean, he's an incredible climber, but would you really want to bring him to the Tour de France in his first year on the World Tour? Like, obviously, he's been pro for a couple of years, but I was like, I mean, it would have made sense maybe to bring him to the Giro or maybe the Vuelta, just because it's a little, it's just not as much of a circus and all the rest of it. And, like, with eight riders now, you really need every rider to be, like, 100% ready. And, like, if they're going for the Tour de France double, I mean, Chris Froome really needs his domestiques on porn. Like, he's going to bring Kwiatkowski and Garrett Thomas there, both, and Jenny Moscon, who can ride the cobbles, they can ride the climbs, solid blokes. Like, probably Luke Rowe will be in there, maybe um, maybe Hanau, maybe a couple of those guys. But, like, they're all people who've ridden the Tour de France before. They all know what's going on, apart from Moscon. But Moscon's already ridden a Grand Tour. So I thought that they'd follow the classic template where you just, like, put your Neo Pro rider in the Giro of the Welter, not the Tour. But maybe, maybe they, they, maybe they will. I don't know. It just seems that they think because Chris Froome will be the leader, then he'll have less pressure. But I'm still like, I don't know. It will, it will be very big if he goes there. Uh, for sure, he's got the talent, obviously. But it will be his first Grand Tour will he like crack in the third week, which is really when you want him because that's when all the climbing is. So it's just so hard to tell what he's going to do. I mean, I, I guess the longest stage race he's probably done is only about maybe 10 days or something. Um, maybe, maybe like, I don't know which one that would have been, but I think he's probably done probably something like 10 days, maybe max. Uh, but, I mean, Team Sky, they know the numbers. They'll, they'll look at his power output and figure out that he's hitting some insane numbers. Uh, and then he's probably stronger climber than Garrett Thomas or all the rest of them. Probably, he probably is Team Sky's strongest climber at the moment, this moment in time. Uh, but it's more, I guess, like fresh. But it's more like after a couple of weeks in a race, how strong is Egan Bernal and how strong is he over the cobbles, etc. Like, if he goes, there's no way he'll go for GC just because I think he'll lose a lot of time over the cobbles. Because, yeah, he's a good time trialist. But, like, let's be honest, over the cobbles, he probably hasn't done any recon of the cobbles. He's never, I don't know if he's ridden cobbles before. Um, so yeah, that, that won't be great for him. Uh, and Gianni Savio, who probably knows him better than most people because he found him in Colombia, did some VO2 max testing, figured out he was an absolute beast and signed him into Europe and he's, he's ridden on his team for two years. Um, he just said that the world is a much better race for his first Grand Tour. He's a long future. And that's the other thing. He's got, he's 21. Like he's got, he's got ages before he's really going to be in his prime. He's probably got like four or five years before he's going to be in top form. So you think like taking him to the tour, it might be good. If he was on a smaller team, I think he'd go. It just depends for Team Sky and their overall ambitions if they think that it will be good to bring him or not. Um, for me, I, I just wouldn't. Um, just maybe, just because I think he could do some. He could do like the Tour de Suisse and try and win that instead, uh, and just focus on his one week stage racing a bit and really get ready for the Vuelta and be in top form for the Vuelta, where there's always loads of steep climbs. And I think Egan Bernal, if he was leader in the Vuelta, maybe him and Wout Poels joint leaders or something like that. Um, it would definitely be very interesting for Team Sky because. He, he might be able to win that. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting news. Um, saying, who's this bloke? In the end, if he races the Welter, it's more pressure than the Tour because everyone will be looking at him and he had the responsibilities of leader. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Should, should Egan Bernal race the Tour? And if so, what will he do? Maybe, I think he'd probably get like a top 20 maybe if he was like riding domestique as well as like sort of half going for the GC like a lot of the teams guy domestiques often do. Like they'll go full gas and like blow up then wait like five minutes and then just keep riding up the climb and then on the TT they'll, um, they'll be allowed to go full gas uh, on the TT. Um, but yeah, probably the top, 10, top 20, top 30. Um, but we'll see. If he does the Dauphiné, uh, then I guess he'll probably be in, uh, in contention. Uh, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, what are your thoughts about Egan Manal? Such a good bloke. Uh, and I'll see you in the next vid.